Hey guys, Wise Gamer here, bringing you another indie game review. This time we're looking at Blade Star, a game from Fairweather Studios that just came out the 15th of January, so about two weeks ago now. You can pick it up for $10 on Steam, I'll have all the links down below. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't, hit that dislike button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I do reviews Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so make sure you subscribe for more indie game reviews. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So, Blade Star. Basically, this is one of those top-down scroller games where you control a ship or, you know, helicopters, stuff like that. In this case, a ship. And you destroy enemies as they come from the top down, wave after wave after wave, until you get to a boss wave. So, kind of a uh, stereotypical like arcade type game. But this one has a lot of unique elements in it that really kind of put it above some of the other ones out there. So in this one, it's sci-fi based. You're in a ship uh, that is trying to save a colony that is dying. So you're collecting these little blue orbs that are coming from the top down, and that actually gives the colony power, and that what is that's what allows the colony to survive basically. So as you go through, um, it starts off with just like kind of shooting asteroids and stuff, and as the waves go on, then you have like these automated drones that kind of follow a very simple pattern and will shoot at you, and then there's other levels where like a pirate ship wave or a pirate fleet will come through and you have to try to destroy them and everything too, and all the time you're trying to save your colony, so you still gotta collect these blue orbs, get weapon upgrades, and stuff like that. So very typical arcadey gameplay, but at the same time it's a lot of fun too. Uh, the game has over 50 waves, so there's 50 different uh, waves across six different worlds as well. So um, as you look at like the star map, I have the first two levels unlocked, and that's what I've done so far. I've got all the way to the boss in the second level, and I died, unfortunately. So <laughs> there is like a boss wave at the very end and everything too, but you kind of go to these different worlds, and you have a narrator that actually talks to you, too. They have voice acting in here. That's really not bad. It was pretty impressive to see that for a $10 game to have voice acting in it. Um, I was kind of expecting just very typical playing gameplay, and it was actually a lot better than that. Uh, there's different upgrades you can do too, so after you finish like 10 waves you get an upgrade for your pilot. Uh, so you can do things like your lasers start at like plus one um, like level basically. There's like maybe five to ten different tiers of lasers that you collect, so as you collect it it gets more and more powerful. Or your missiles can start at that level. Or um, you know you can start with like a little bit higher combo multiplier for a higher score, which is what I opted to in this video. Um, things like that. So as you get like a high score there is a leaderboard type thing and everything too. Um, you can also start collecting like experience points starting later, so that experience can be used to unlock things like a new ship, like I unlocked this pirate ship thing right here, so that was pretty cool as well. Um, you can unlock a lot of different stuff like that as well, so there's a lot of like replayability as well. Uh, there's 36 in-game achievements as well, so there's going to be things that are going to bring you back to the game over and over again. Visually, the game's amazing. As things like blow up, um, I actually died on the boss, and like as my ship blows up and everything, I lost a life well, the first time I got hit, and then I had no lives left. So as it blows up, like that's just kind of a huge like burst of energy and stuff like that. It looks really nice there. Um, all the visuals for like the ship models and stuff like that look great. The asteroid spinning cool are pretty cool, and it's really just sprites falling down from the screen. But he did it in a really great way, where it's really uh, graphically in not intense necessarily, but graphically like just very nice and pleasing to the eye. It really kind of puts you in that space uh, environment that you would think you'd be in. Um, like I said, there's a lot of different enemies and stuff like that too, and there's different paint schemes that you can unlock as well. Audio-wise, it's really not too bad. Um, like I said, the voice acting's great. I was really surprised to see that. And the soundtrack isn't too bad at all. Um, the missiles shooting and stuff like that, uh, it doesn't get necessarily annoying. It's pretty clean. I think it could have been a little bit better maybe for like the missiles and laser effects, but it's not bad. It's not like I'm, I'm designer and I don't really have a, any huge complaints about it. I just think it, maybe it could have been a little bit better. Uh, but overall, I still think it's great. Replayability wise, this is one of those things that has multiple endings actually. So there's a story mode that has multiple endings based on how it plays out. Um, it also has arcade mode as well, so it's just kind of like endless wave mode to go as far as you can. And like I said, all the different unlockables and achievements and everything too. So you're definitely going to want to keep going back, playing it over and over again to get all the different ships unlocked, different skins, try out your pilot uh, upgrades in different ways and things like that as well. There is some partial controller support. Um, it's a little bit weird for me um, using that because I started with a keyboard and it's very simple. You use WASD to move up, down, left, right across the screen and then spacebar or left click uh, will shoot. Uh, with the controller you just use an analog stick to move around and then you hit A or uh, maybe it was right trigger to shoot too. Um, the tr controller was inverted for me in the option so I wound up going with the keyboard, I just never switched it. And um, yeah, it's, it's really still a fun game though. It's nice to see that something so simple for $10 can actually have uh, really great graphics, really great models in the game, voice acting, and I'm just excited to see what Fairweather Studios brings us in the future. So with that being said guys, check out the game down below, at least do that for me here. You can follow Dev on Twitter, you can check out the game on Steam as well as their website. And again, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, you can hit that dislike button, that's fine as well. You can leave a comment about what you thought about the game or any games you want me to review in the future. And again, I do reviews Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Bye bye